What up, what up, it's your girl Jock Crisp. Uh, huge day on the vlog, okay? Roman and I are going on a safari, a wine safari. Did you see all the cash in the street? Yeah, I know, I saw you and I thought that was yours. Ugh. You are not gonna believe what just happened. I found $159. And the, there you was, got, wait, you got a hundred dollar bill? I almost got two. Like there was another one right next to it, but the other guy got it before me. It's raining cash, baby! <laughs> I fuck what I want! I, 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 I kid you not, we're in Calabasas right now on this road. I'm driving and I jam on the brakes and Roman said What are you doing? I said there's cash in the fucking street. She goes what? I said yes. I get out of the car. There's a cash just flying everywhere. There's three other people on the street scooping it up. I found like a 20 before but this was just in the middle of the road right here. I found the wallet so what do we do we, here? Do we know who it is? We're gonna find out but if we know who it is then we have to return the cash. Then we actually will have to give it back. We should not put this in. Why? So not have to give it back? <laughs> you are terrible. <laughs> This isn't very safari looking uh, outfit. Oh yeah, it is. It's pretty good. Passport? Yeah. Great. All right, we just got to Malibu Wine Safari. Roman forgot her passport, so I don't know if she can drink. We might have to go all the way back. She just ruined everything. I'm sorry. I was think too worried about taking sunscreen for you, your fucking passport, your sunglasses, your phone, the keys. What did you do? In the meantime, yeah, that's what I thought. Bitch. We are in Northern California. Actually, we're not in Northern California. We're in Malibu. This place is called the Malibu uh, Wine Safari. So basically, here's how it works. You get on one of these wine safari bus thingies. You drink red grapes from the vineyards around here. Actually, they're actually made here on campus. You try white wines. They're from Northern California. And you go around, you pet giraffe, you pet zebras, zebras, and you get snacks. Hey guys, sorry to bother you. Are you more excited to see a zebra or a giraffe? Well, the thing is that we can actually feed the giraffes and pet them. You can I pet the giraffe? Know. Yeah. How do you know? Because I saw people do it. Make sure when you come, you have to bring your ID because you have to be 21 or older. Roman forgot hers, they let us in. Did you tell them they thought that was undercover? Roman forgot her ID and we were just about to go home and go get her ID and the guy was like, no, 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 come here, pulled us aside. Uh, he asked her if she was a cop because I guess they have undercover cops here that do checkings of IDs. But she is 21, so we're good. So basically you have to sign up a day in advance. It's $100 for an hour and a half tour. Like I said, you go around, you drink alcohol, you pet zebras, you look at the animals, you pet the animals, and you taste the local wines from, uh, from California. We're really excited. I think it's gonna be a fun vlog. You gonna sit in the front or the back? I don't care. So I feel like at the back, at least the giraffes can come and say hi to you. So in the front, we're a little bit stranded. <laughs> we're going to be loading up on the giraffe tracks. I always give her the best seats. All right. This is Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. Chelsea. Hi. Chelsea is actually in charge of pouring your wine as well. So if you're gonna pick one of us to be friends with, one of us to flirt with, that yeah. one right there. Chelsea, let's be friends. All right. This is called Saddle Rock right here. That's kind of what we're named after. We're on Saddle Rock Ranch. Um, but we have a little bit of an Indiana Jones hill right here. So hang on to your hat. <laughs> Face 
famous. Is he verified? <laughs> he was in like Nike commercials, Verizon, Target, Skittles. Did anyone persevere and make it to the third Hangover movie? I have a wonderful life! <laughs> Lost his head. I know, first 10 seconds, right? Just freeway overpass. Um, so Chelsea is gonna take you guys up and show you how to beat Stanley. This is terrifying. <gasps> All right, Stanley. I'll see you later, guy. Right, see you, bud. Oh God, Stanley is famous. He was in uh, he was in The Hangover Three. <laughs> Once giraffes actually get above 12 feet, they can no longer be transported in Hollywood if they're being filmed with. So they can't go like set to set. Um, the Hangover Three thing is actually like a genuine concern. They can't be. They won't clear. So in order to transport a giraffe, you actually have to like trank them. From <laughs> Ow! and lay them down and it's obviously like super stressful on the animal. All right, so interesting fact about Stanley. Uh, he eats 100 pounds of romaine lettuce a day, 100 pounds. This is a zebra. This is called Oak Grove. It's called that because all these trees are California black oaks. Fun fact about these trees, not only are they super protected, um, but they actually soak up 15 degrees of heat around them. So we're gonna taste some white wine under them because it's super nice under here. And this is our largest wedding venue. So we are gonna hold on to these glasses all day, all right? Mm -hmm. um, so don't like break them, don't sit on them, don't try to like break and start a fight. I'm gonna all right so first stop on the tour you try three different types of white wine and uh you're allowed to go and walk over here to see the alpacas what you know they spit on you if you like nah no they do they do like <laughs> hey buddy he looks miserable so i guess i'll just eat this plastic container You wanna be in my video, buddy? Hello, yes. This is Roman's favorite tree, everyone. This is my favorite tree. They said this is actually one of the biggest wedding venues in all of California. It's very romantic, so I could see why. The alpacas aren't really giving me much attention. Guys! All right. So what they said about Stanley is that he lives till maybe 40 years old, but in the natural habitat when there's like threats of lions and stuff, uh, it's about 12 to 13 years old. So he's out here just chilling for the next 30 years. I really like this place. This place is insane. Shall we go drink more wine? Look at night they have, they have the lights in the trees. This was so pretty. Roman's literally just walking around looking for things. What is she doing? Roman, that's a fake horse. She was literally just taking a picture of a fake horse. Babes, that was a fake horse. Why are you twirling it like you know what you're doing with it? It releases the minerals. So guys, it's all about what's in the grape that makes it a different type of wine. No, it's about Roman, if you washed your feet before Why are you ruining on. my vlog? Alright. Sauvignon Blanc right here. This is the first plot ever planted here on the ranch. And it's how we figured out we are much better at red wine. <laughs> we don't have that cool coastal climate that white grapes need. Um, we have very hot, dry, rocky climate here. Uh, but take a handful of carrots, okay? Because they're really not interested. You have to bribe them to take photos. So once we move down this way, we're no longer allowed to pet anything. <laughs> The Vietnamese water buffalo on this side, you see that herd? Yeah. Normally very docile. However, they just had a baby, um, I want to say five weeks ago now. So very protective. Okay, we're not going to approach their fence at all. Hello. 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 
Hello, mister. Hey, Sabrina. Fun fact, Sabrina was born on Halloween, my birthday, so she's a witch. She's hammered. How are you feeling, girl? Yeah, I'm pretty drunk too. We saw the llamas and I, I got all excited about the wine, so I, I was just started chugging them. This is like, how I have to drive home. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, I know. Maybe we can catch a ride back in the llama. He did like you. They would never actually ride me home. Were you too fat? Excuse me? You had too many crackers. <laughs> This is cool. This is where you go, James. What's that? Pig's house. You are unbelievable. You're being so mean right now. Oh, look, okay. a boat. This is so cool. Would you live here? Would I live there? Of course I would live there. It's incredible. Dude, this might be the best day of my life. $100 for this little wine tour. You get to pet goats, llamas, cows, buffalo, buffalo, giraffes. giraffes. I think we might have to buy a bottle of Stanley and can drink them up. How drunk are you? I'm not. She's fucking hammered. This is a great time. You guys should definitely come here. Very highly recommend. I'm so drunk. I don't know what you want me to do with that. Oh, shit. Roman just spilled wine all over me. Same. What? So Roman, what would you give this tour? 10 out of 10 stars. Out of 10 stars. Whoa, you missed all the birds flying away. Um, definitely 10. Also, can you imagine, does it snow ever in Malibu? That would be so cool. Why? Well, it would just be so pretty. If it snowed? Yeah. I know I used to have one. I won it at the lottery. You won a bunny at the lottery? Yeah, his name was Caramel, and then I released it in, into the wild. And he was just hanging out in, the, in front of the house for like two years. That's sick. Ellie, best tour guide ever, right here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can I have a hug? Hug it out. Tracy! You guys were great. See you, girl. You guys were awesome. Thanks for coming, guys. All right. Rome, let's go. I just need the water. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. I wonder who had this great idea. Are you okay? Fucking tripped on this. How drunk are you? <laughs> Roman had like a couple glasses of wine. She is out of her mind drunk. I don't know how we're gonna get back. What? Oh my god. You are hammered. Under the rope, under the rope. Here, come on. Under the rope, yes. <laughs> Guys, 10 out of 10 uh, on the Malibu Safari. We had Ellie and Tracy. They're top notch professionals. What? Ellie and Chelsea. It was Tracy. How drunk are you? Chelsea, James. Oh Ow! You're being abusive. She's being I abusive. You guys caught. I Chelsea, caught that on camera. Change it. What? That's not our car. Do you want to be a little bit more aggressive? <laughs> that is not our car, okay. James. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? <laughs> Roman, stand right there. Walk a straight line. Right now. This is a drunk test. Straight line, nice and slow. <laughs> hey, hey, touch your feet to your feet. Nope. Yeah, dog. No, Crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're gonna go back. Start over. Feet. Just like this, touching each other. The hands out. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Yeah, dog. I fucking got this shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. All right, all right. Hey, you're driving. Roman. Hey, drunkie. Give me the keys. Can we go buy the bottles? What was that? Okay, says dry splash. She's being these guys called. I called that on camera. You just hit me on camera. I'm gonna call the cops. I can't believe you don't remember her name. Hey guys, I gotta go. I'll I'll see you later. I'll see you later. What? That's not our car.